Welcome to another edition of Draw With Me Kids. It's episode 96, Pots of Gold. We're celebrating St. Patrick's Day with our own little special treasures that uh, leprechauns might have at the end of a rainbow. And we're also going to show you how to use those as uh, other things for other holidays, right? <laughs> you have a very fluffy blanket there. I do. <gasps> what? Oh my goodness, welcome Teddy Buddy. We're going to have a special artist guest today. This is Sophia's friend Teddy Buddy. He's soft, he's fluffy, and I think he wants to draw. Yeah. Scratch your pens, <laughs> your papers, your pencils, your erasers. Don't think that's a pencil, Teddy Buddy. Close enough. <laughs> and let's go. Woo! Yay! Hello. Hello, hello. To anybody, it's a close-up. <laughs> Very excited. We are not wearing green today, but that's because that's tomorrow. St. Patrick's Day is tomorrow. We will not be wearing green for the YouTube video either. Oh, well. But we are going to draw pots of gold for our leprechauns. We did leprechauns last year for, thank, for uh, St. Patrick's Day, right? Yep. So now we're going to create what it is they might be guarding. And it's going to be a really easy one to follow along today. So you can use these for your cards. You can use these for uh, drawing a picture for your friends. Let me get a bigger pencil here on my digital. So we're going to start off with building a cauldron, which I like to start off with a circle, but Miss Rainbows likes to start off with a flat rectangle with curved ends, right? Like this. So she's going to show you how she starts. I'm not going to do it here because I have an idea for a picture. Oh, you have an idea. I am sorry to call you out on that. So she would but she would normally start like this. I have, yeah. Then I and that's draw. how she start. Then I draw kind of like a circle, but it stops where it hits the line. Mm -hmm. And then I put the feet on it. And then you that's put the feet on it. I like to start with my circle. Which is not a very even circle, but that's okay. So if I have my eraser, then I can go. If you don't have an eraser, do most of a circle, but leave the top about there. Cut the top off just like that. I just find it easier to start with a circle. Then I know how big my cauldron is going to be. Because if you start with the top, sometimes if you don't plan it out, it can make your picture too big or it can make your picture really teeny. So I start with my thing, and I like to make a curved line to follow that cut into the top of the pot. I have a way that I'm going to show how to make okay. a cauldron. So what I do next is I put these little feet just like that. I'm kind of like more, you can see inside version of that. You're going to do more inside. Making. Yep. And with a super easy tutorial to follow how to do it. Okay. And that is more or less how I build a cauldron. Like sometimes I'll sneak a third foot in there to, to balance it out. And then you can use this shape for, well we're using it for our leprechauns and their pots of gold. But you can also use this shape for a witch who's preparing a, a brew or a potion. Or you can use it for cooking big giant pots of soup. You can use it in all kinds of pictures, not just your leprechaun pictures. This is my 3D version of it. So if you want to make the, I'm going to make the gold in here. So I'm just doing little half circles. And you don't have to do every single coin. Because that would be a little bit crazy, wouldn't it? Yeah. You might show one or two circles on there just so you can get the right shape. And then maybe you want to have shine coming from it, just to show how shiny this very full pot of gold is. Miss Rainbows is going to show you how, to do how that. she did hers. But with a super simple tutorial on how. So, how you start off, you do a very light line that's like this, which is the length that you want your cauldron or your pot of gold. Okay. And then you put just a super small line like that. And that's 
if you were to, and then you draw a thick circle because you're going to have this as your rim. Okay. Around that line, I might just adjust my line a little bit. Um. <laughs> so that's going to be the rim of your pot. So that first line was a guideline. And then you want to erase the inside lines that you made first as your yep. guide, yep. like ones. Yep. Now you have this circle, and this oval. Yep. Now what you want to do, on this bottom part, you're going to draw a line to go underneath the other line that's symmetrical with it. Okay. It's parallel should say. Then you want to draw a line like that. Okay, done. Just to cap off the edges. This is Miss Rainbow's version of a 3D pot of gold. So you want to do the same kind of parallel line. On the top? For the top. Make sure that it kind of looks like this line here is going like this, and then the other line's going like this, and then you have the edge here. Okay, so let's let's see. Okay, yeah. So you kind of want to look like they're almost touching at one point in time, so you get that. Yeah, like they're almost look. an X, but the one at the top should not. Oh, uh, it shouldn't overlap. Yeah. So next, I put a point from here. So that's your middle. Down wherever I want the bottom of my pot to be. I'm going to put it right there. This is how she measures. And we can't quite see your, your pot because it's a little bit... There you go. Not quite full on the screen, which is fine. And so it's the dot. So it's at the bottom. Yep. And then I draw another dot. She put another one. And then, then another dot for the sides. So this is to help you visualize how big your circle or your your pot is going to be, right? Yeah. If you're making a circular pot, you want to kind of think if you were to draw a diagonal line from between these here. Yeah, with a curve. Just a light one. You put your dot like that. Kind of like that. Then you erase your diagonals. Then once you have that, if you want, you can kind of add a few more dots closer up. And then what I my favorite part of it is to trace it like a dot to dot. Oh, well, that's a neat idea to prepare yourself is to trace like a dot to dot. I like your shape that you did for your cauldron too. It's a little round, but also more bowl like. I like it. And then if you have like some of the dots poking out that you kind of don't want, I'm gonna erase them. Let's just erase them. So if you are using a pencil and eraser method, that is a very good way to make sure you have size measured out and alignment measured out so it's easy to follow along where you're going. Very good advice and tip. So, What's next on your cauldron? It might be difficult to see here, but move up. Yep, pretty good. Here are the feet. I like to put whatever shape I personally like the shape where I put a light circle, mm -hmm. then a triangle okay, just at the bottom, and then I put another little triangle like that. I may have done mine a little bit differently, but I sort of follow. Mm -hmm. Then I kind of erase the connection lines. It's okay if you erase a little bit. Um, Oops. your shape, because you can always redraw it. There you go. Oh, I see. Nice. You put yours a little closer to the base. Nice. Then for the ones that are like this, And then you put, you have a small teeny one. 
I don't think in this angle I would see that third leg on mine. Well, that's, that's the front leg, so I have four on them. And I kind of put a Oh, okay, so you'd have, okay, so you sort of One like that, and then I'll pick. There you go. Cool. Yeah, and then to draw the gold on the inside. How do you draw the gold on the inside? I draw. Hold on, I want to adjust this. Just because I made it a little too wide for my color. Hmm, I'll show you this up here. Is what's um, actually, it's there you go. So I'll go back to this one. So how do you draw your gold? Draw? How I draw? I draw a few lines, bumps. They can go up, they can go down, they can split off. If I'm showing there's lots of it in there, I'll put some curly cues occasionally. But I want to make sure that I have lots of lines. And then when I've got all my kind of lines where they're going to be, I put a few circles in with them, kind of all bunched up together a little bit. This is a very well stacked cauldron for me. So that's how I've done my lines. I, I might even go in and do that too. Yeah, the, the uh, more even you put your lines, the more well stacked it might look. If you have an eraser, you can kind of use the shading technique. Kind of smudge erase some of them. That's what I like to do. But you don't have to. It's just do a pen as well. Uh, just a shaggy little lines. lines. If you're doing a pen, just draw a few straight lines. Because this method's that. really for smudging only. Mine's very basic. My, my version is very basic. Clean my eraser off. I like to add, I'm going to add in mine while you're working. I'm going to add in mine just a little curve like this. And if you want, which I think I will, you can add any kind of symbol on this. Oh yeah, you could put a word on the pot. You could put symbol on it. I'm going to put a four leaf over. Okay. Well, you can do that. You can do heart, heart, upside down following it, and then heart, and then you got kind of a Scotty's logo, but it's also a four, four leaf curler. I'm a curler. What can I say? I put in my I think I'm going to give them a color. Get them all colored up. All pretty. I'm going to change my color of the pot not to be perfectly black. I'm going to change it to a nice gray. I don't know. You can, you can do it any color you want. I think I did a sticker last year like this. The shiny sticker, right? Yes. Yeah. It actually said shiny on the on the pot. Let me even take some of the oops. Maybe I won't do that. I like a little bit weird. Red, orange, yellow, green. Really red and yellow. Not that I have anything against orange, I just realized I'm not going to be able to get it. Fit nice on my screen here. instead of purple. This blue looks very purple. Blue looks very purple. Let's change that blue. To be a little lower. I'm sorry, I've got a song in my head. If I start it, everybody will hop in their head and I don't want to do that. 
Because we know it's in our family's head here. What is it? There's a pot of gold. Yay! Pot. Oh. Good. Hey! How's yours? Oh, look at yours. Wow. This rainbows is adding, and I love this. I'm going to show you. In case you can't see, maybe you can. Adding a handle to her pot. Okay. So I'm gonna do that too. No, I'm not adding the handle. No, no, adding. It's the rainbow. Oh, it's the rainbow. Going around it. The rainbow's going around it. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, I'm gonna put a handle on my it's not gonna be the rainbow going around. It's not gonna be as cute and clever as Miss Rainbows. <laughs> There's my handle. What do you think, Teddy Bunny? Was that fun to do? Yeah. Now Can why? I come and draw with you? Sure, sure, buddy. Come on in. Hey. I've got a, I've got a guest, buddy. He's gonna come over while I'm using the chameleon pants. Now he doesn't want to get. He doesn't want to get uh, drawn on. No, he's a, he's a beautiful color. Yeah. It's a beautiful color already. So why are we doing cauldrons for St. Patrick's Day? Well, it's what is most commonly associated with leprechauns, right? Yeah. What else are leprechauns known for? Leprechauns, there's a story, a fairy tale that involves leprechauns. And it helps somebody that is a tradesperson, is the maker of sorts. What does the person make? Is it A, candles, B, shoes, or C, hats? Here's a little bit of leprechaun trivia. I think it might be shoes. You think it might be shoes? You think it might be shoes? because the so I'm not even in the color. Is there even any more? I'm coloring right into the lines. Let's just put it right on the color zone. Oh no, we're right into the pot of gold. This orange is very accurate. I know because my man was eating oranges this morning. <laughs> so it looks like the oranges that I was eating. Yeah. The answer for our trivia question, leprechauns feature in this fairy tale, helping a tradesperson, what do the, what do the person make? Candles? Shoes? Or hats? The answer is indeed shoes. The leprechauns come in. And help to make shoes. Obviously, leprechauns like gold. Because that's what we associate them with, with their pots of gold. But there used to be a tradition of leaving bread soaked in milk on your 
windowsill to please the fairies or the fairy folk. Like leprechauns. And make them trick somebody else, not you. Because they also are a bit trick tricksies, aren't they? Trick tricksters. Yeah. I don't have any other trivia. That one was just spur of the moment trivia today. We'll have some for next week. Next week is going to be fairies. Oh my goodness. <laughs> We're going to do fairies next week. Which kind of goes with the whole theme, doesn't it? Yeah. If you're watching Draw With Me, um, you might not know that I have a collection of fairies that I draw. And so it sort of makes it, it makes sense that we're going to draw some fairies, right? But we're not some of those fairies uh, for next week, will you? Hmm? Will you bring up some of those fairies? I shall, I shall. I'll show you some of those fairies next week. I have rain fairies and sun fairies and all kinds of fairies. Flower fairies. Tooth fairies. Tooth fairies. We'll bring them up next week and show you some pictures. And I'll show you how I make fairies or what I get inspiration from. Kind of goes with our leprechauns, doesn't it? Yeah. I don't have a leprechaun. This picture. Maybe my leprechaun has decided to just leave and go. And my original idea was to have a leprechaun in my picture. And I think I'm going to draw one. Like sliding down the rainbow. Oh, that's a cool idea. What a neat idea. Or like rainbow surfing. Rainbow surfing. A rainbow surfing leprechaun. Well, let's not just leave this picture hanging here. Does it really have a base? So let's give it a base. Let's, get, let's put it on some. Let's put it on some grass. Mm -hmm. Nice grassy patch. Oh dear. What's up? I forgot a thing. That's okay. Our rules are to be kind to yourself and to your painting, to your drawing. So be kind to your painting and your drawing. You can definitely fit it in. I know you can. I know you can, because I've seen you do it before. I'm adding a little bit of color texture in here, where the shadow of the cauldron might be. That, I think, is my quick well, maybe we'll put some sky detail then. Yeah. We got everything I else. I won't do my leprechaun surfing. I don't think we'll have time. That's all right. Maybe he's gone surfing the other way. Yeah, maybe he's already taken off. He's taken a vacation. We have a pot of gold. A nice day. For St. Patrick's Day, which is, well, today if you're watching us on YouTube, tomorrow if you're watching us on Facebook Live. Darker. 
Here we go. Um, pot of gold at the end of a rainbow. Oh. One pot of gold wrapped in a rainbow. I miss rainbows. <laughs> I love it. And the idea that maybe she'll add it later. Maybe she won't. A leprechaun sliding down. I think that would be amazing. you surfing. He's surfing. He'd be surfing on. Surfing on the rainbow. You suppose that's why it's at the bottom of the rainbow? What do you think? Can you leave a comment? Let us know. What do you think? That's why pots of gold are found. The rainbow? I think that the pots of gold are there at the end of the rainbow because the leprechauns uh, they would fall into it when they were done when they were done surfing. So you can always just have a nice place to crash land when they were done. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Do you approve, Teddy Buddy? <laughs> I totally approve. Oh my goodness. You're gonna jump in there, are you? He wants to jump in. I think that's about all I got. For me, Miss Rainbows is just finishing up the details. Let's join her over on her page. Let's see her doing her purple. I need to get a new purple. You need to get a new yellow. Hmm. Mellow yellow, the one I used is running low on ink. Excellent. I will know I will note that and get some new ink. <laughs> I haven't used my markers in a while. Whoa, Teddy Buddy can't believe that it's a full-size page. <laughs> he really wants to come over and help you, but I know that would be dangerous for him. I don't want to get colored with markers. It would be bad for you. Have you ever gotten paint and stuff all over yourself? I'm going to use a different color yellow just to make that pop off the page. I'll show you when we're done with Miss Rainbow's there. My cauldron is going to be a white cauldron because I think that would be cool and unique. Oh, that would be very cool and unique. Do you, you want to share with your friends one of the comments they found? Uh, yeah, that's what I was just thinking. <laughs> Uh, you share with your friends? When I was younger, uh, my mom explained to me that you wear green for St. Patrick's Day. Yeah. And you know what I said? Great! I'll wear red to show how unique I am. Yeah. Yep. And I was like, well, I can't really say no to that. <laughs> I can't really say no to that. I mean, really, somebody's trying to be unique. Can't, can't rain on that parade. Sweet. 
Nice. I'll show mine as I did and you can hold it up for everybody to read all the fun details on it. So this is my pot of gold and it's finished. I don't mess that up. There is the final project for Miss Rainbows. This beautiful pot of gold with a rainbow. A rainbow. And it has a note on it that says my lens don't touch. <laughs> my lens. So my lens must be your leprechaun. Very cool. So my lens don't touch. <laughs> my lens will be in touch. If you touch your touch the gold pot of gold. Right? Thanks for watching Jolly Kids Edition episode ninety six. Pots of gold. Pots of gold. If you enjoyed, don't forget to like, subscribe, hit the notifications bell, and share the video with all your friends. That way, nobody misses Jolly Kids Edition ever again. Yay! That would be really nice. We hope you come back next week to join us for How to Draw Fairies. Which would be very nice. And, uh, Thanks, son, for coming in at the last moment. <laughs> See you guys next time. Bye. Bye.